Hi, so today you're sewing with Cody and Pete. Today we are showing you how to clean and oil your Bernina. So this method applies to almost all of the current model machines. So the new 4 series, the new 5 series, the 7s, um, with the exception of the 8s. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off a few things. So let's disengage our dual feed, take off our presser foot, take off our sliding table. Then we're going to want to take off our stitch plate, which we press in the bottom right hand corner to get that off. It pops right off there. And then we're going to open our door, take out our bobbin and bobbin case, set all of those aside. And here, we're going to press the little lever on the side, which will open this up. And then we'll take out our hook, also known as a little flying saucer. And I've got my little bag here. And I always keep all my oil pens and some extra needles and my little brush. So let's take out our Brina oil pen and our little brush. That's all we need. And sometimes you need some tweezers. So what we'll do, the first thing we'll do is we'll get up here and clean out all the lint and all the little pieces of thread that are all in here. And look, there's a glob of thread here and lint. So it's getting clean everything out. And then you'll work down here, get all the lint out and clean all of that. And one area I want you to pay attention to, let's see if it'll let me zoom in. There we go. So right here, that black piece here, this rotates. The silver piece does not, but there's a little opening between the two. So I want you to pay attention and make sure you get any lint or little pearl, lint pearls that form back in there. And sometimes you'll find even little pieces of broken needle that can be locked or um, lost in there. And they can also prevent more needles to break. So I want you to make sure you get in there and clean all of that out. And you should see a little bit of oil residue around this uh, black piece here that holds everything in. Um, if you don't, it means you're probably not oiling your machine enough. Because you, you never want to see it completely dry because um, your machine just won't sew properly. It'll be really loud and it can cause some needle breakage. So now we are working with our hook. So we want to get in there and make sure we clean all the lint out of here. So once we get all the lint cleaned out, and make sure to never use compressed canned air to clean out your machine. That's not good. So we're going to take our little oil pen. So first, we've got these two little foam pads on either side of this little uh, guy here. So you put a little drop of oil there and a little drop of oil there. And then before you put him back in, you want to add some oil in here. So you put a little oil around this ring and put like a drop back into that little canal. And depending on which machine you have, uh, well, depending on how old your machine is, there's a, also a little red oil reservoir up here in the top. We used to oil back in there, but Bernina came back about a year or so ago and said stop oiling in there because that's where your little oil reservoir is. However, it can get clogged and little pieces of lint, little pieces of needle can be caught back in there and it can cause it to back up, but also it can cause it, the machine to release oil at inopportune times while you're embroidering and then all of a sudden the machine is releasing oil and your white thread then turns gray. So we've gotten away from oiling back in there, so we kind of oil directly into um, the hook driver. So now to get this mechanism back in, if you notice, there's a white dot back here, and there's also a hole right here. You want to line those two up. The easiest way to do this is you're going to lay this upside down on here, line up that white dot with that hole the best that you can, and this is magnetic, so it's going to want to attach to that super easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this back, oh, and if we're super lucky like that, it will snap right in, and you'll know right away, and then you just push this all the way back in. But let me take it out and show you what you'll have to do if you're not always so lucky. So what you do is you'll push onto this just to kind of hold it in place and then you're going to use the hand wheel on the right side of your machine 
and you can turn the hand wheel a little bit clockwise. And if it doesn't snap in, then turn it a little bit more counterclockwise. And you should hear it snap in and just give that a little push and then you're good to go. And then we'll put our bobbin and bobbin case back in. Use a little thread cutter here to cut your excess tail. You can shut your door. Now we're gonna put our stitch plate back in. Left side in first, then right side. And now you can just basically reassemble your machine. Put your foot back on, release your pressure foot. So it's recommended to clean and oil your machine at the beginning of each project, um, or the beginning of each sewing day. Um, but a oiled machine is a happy machine when it's a Bernina machine. All right. Happy sewing.